Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrinceandTrader.com, here with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, hourly chart first, then we'll hop over to the daily. But I just wanted to point out, the new weekly pivot is right down here, 25.37 half. You can see they brought it down to the 42 area, uh, uh, 41 half, 42 area on Friday. They, they did matching lows there. We talked about a little, we talked about that a little bit in the afternoon update. Basically, it turned into a dip buy. Uh, they finished, you know, they finished 44.75. Then they brought it in. They did a higher low Sunday night. They've been grinding it up ever since. For me, this sets up new highs. Uh, you can see the stairs starting to build. You can see the here we go agains. So when we get into the regular session today, I would be very surprised. Look, whether it's sustainable or not is another issue, but I would be very surprised if we did not make a new all-time high. Um, the Bears really have one job this week. They have to get below the weekly pivot and stay there. If they can't, then the dip buyers are just going to keep coming at them relentlessly, and we will continue to grind higher. We will keep doing higher lows and higher highs, and until we start doing lower highs and lower lows, if you're going to trade this tape, you need to buy dips, you need to be long, and I mean, that's the end of it. You just have to do it. You may not want to do it, uh, but there's really, there's, you really don't have a choice um, if you're going to continue to see the same price action that, um, that, that we've been seeing. That, I mean, that's the bottom line. If we're going to see this price action, then got to be long. I know people want it to go down. Look, the reason the daily chart looks like this, people want it to go down. And yes, we had a red candle come in on Friday. And if they want it to go the way of this red candle, you're gonna to have to see some follow through today. And the follow through conversation really begins down at 37 half. And that's tough when you're sitting here Monday morning at 50. They're going to have to put a couple of days together. Um, I'm not saying that we're going up forever. That's, you know, that's ridiculous. And, you know, you, you see a lot of stuff out there. What I am saying is you have to respect the trend that we're in. You have to, you have to respect the trend that we're in. You have to understand that um, the bears are not executing. And you have to accept that as a trader. And then as much as it may pain most of you to do it, you have to, you have to get long. There's nothing harder than continuing to buy up around the highs because it always feels like, you know, well, I'm going to be the one left holding the bag. I get it. I feel that way every time I buy. I felt that way when I bought 4275 on Friday. But I didn't get left holding the bag. We continue to head higher. Okay, um, and as long as that is the reality, you have to embrace that as the reality. When that stops, you'll see lower highs, you'll see lower lows, you'll see dip buyers come in and immediately just kind of get pushed out of the market. They'll chase them right out of the pool, so to speak. And then you'll start to see areas that matter go resistance. Nine day simple, daily mid band. I think what's probably more likely this week, what I like this week, is a move back to the to the weekly pivot. Um, that you have to understand, if we do that, the chances of it being a, a dip buy are really good. And then whether that dip buy makes it all the way back up to over the top of the all time high, whatever it happens to be, that's a separate issue. But on the initial push down, you have to think to yourself, okay, whether you're short or whether you're flat, you have to say to yourself, okay. Where is this going to stall? And when it does, I want to be long. And you know, you have to commit to being a dip buyer until being a dip buyer doesn't work anymore. Now, if you can't wrap your head around that, and I have some subscribers, you know, a couple that just say, you know, Mike, I just I can't buy up here, then what I say to them is this, then don't do anything at all. That doesn't mean you have to be a short. Doesn't mean you have to do three, five, seven short trades a day take a bunch of paper cuts or bigger hits, you know, 
have your account going in the wrong direction and most of all have your brain going in the wrong direction for when you need to be sharp when things really do turn and you get a more two-sided environment that you can trade in. The two-sided market is coming. You can feel the, you know, we, there, we had a little little looser tape come Friday. Um, but if you're one of these people that just can't buy, then you need to, you know, you need to have some self-awareness, understand that you're one of these people, and stand aside. Don't have self-awareness that you can't buy and say, well, if I can't buy, then I have to be short. Think about that for a minute. The only reason you're getting short, your basis for being short, is because you don't want to be long. That's not that's not a thesis for a trade. Okay. Um, so let's see how let's see how it goes this morning. Eyes are always on weekly pivot. Um, uh, eyes are on 42, 43 was the low from Sunday night. So you got to be looking at Globex low. If you're the bulls, you have to push. You have to push hard. Uh, you can't be doing marginal higher highs. Uh, you have to keep the pressure up on the bears. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. I will catch you guys for a midday update. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.